Hey guys, so Matt Newman here. Hey, um, I'm just going to talk to you guys about some uh, dyslexia stuff. Um, I'm dyslexic, and I just wanted to let anyone know that who who, it, who is dyslexic, um, how they can correct it. Um, I'm in the process of correcting mine. There's um, a program I took um, through the Davis Dyslexia Correction Program that um, helped me to control the, pro the main problem of dyslexia, which is disorientation. Um, the, the main side effect that m people think of when they think of dyslexia is, um, you know, miscommunicating or misunderstanding words. Um, th that's the main um, side effect, but it's actually, um, what it is is there's um, a perceptual talent that it gets skewed um, by certain words that cause um, cause us to disorient or distort information. Um, they're um, what they call trigger words, which um, are mainly like conjunctions and contractions. I have a list of them right here, actually. I can show you guys. Um, so if you can see. You can see they're like really common words, like a and the and is and can. And anyway, um, all the ones I have checked off are the ones that I've mastered. But basically, for the program, what I do is I um I take c clay that they gave me. Hang on a second. I've got a bag of it right here. And um, <coughs> what I do is I get a dictionary out. Um, I have a student dictionary, it's a Webster's, but anyone will probably work. Um, <coughs> anyway, uh, what I do is I just, I look up, I start by looking up one of the words on my list, and then I look it up in the dictionary, so, for example, I'll do, um, put, P-U-T, so I'll, I'll go into my dictionary, the P's, find it, <coughs> Give me a second. I'll find it. I need my hand, other hand. <laughs> P, 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 P. Okay, P, U. Q, what are you? P, U. Uh. Sorry guys, I'm trying to hurry. Alright, puts. So wow, yeah. I chose a bad definition. There's like uh, uh least eight. Eight, yeah, or more than that, I don't know. But anyway, what I usually do is I um I start start off with the most common one, which is usually the usually the first definition. And I mark it off in the dictionary and write on next to the the word that I've mastered the number of the definition in the dictionary. So, for example, put number one is to ca um, to cause to be be in a certain place or position. So um, once I master that, I'll write one next to put, and that way I know which one I've done. And so next time I need to do another definition, I can look it up and make sure I'm not doing the same one again. So anyway, um, so basically what I do for that, for um, make for mastering, um, there's a checklist on the back you can you can see. Um, it's not oh, wait, it's backwards. <laughs> Never mind. Um, well if you want to take this to a mirror or if you're just dyslexic and you will, you can read it backwards. So <laughs> um, but anyway, <coughs> I'll read it. It says Number one, look up the word, which I told you. Um, number two, pronounce the word, um, which is obvious. <laughs> Three, um, read one definition of this examples, like I said. Number four, um, establish a clear understanding of the definition. Discuss it. Make up sentences or phrases using the word um, with the definition. Uh, do this until you can picture the definition in your mind. 
So, um, yeah. Um, usually this helps if you have a partner. Um, you just bounce sentences back and forth to each other. You can make sure you're using the right one. Um, be good to get somebody that is really good in English. Um, but it doesn't necessarily need to be, but it helps. Um, so, yeah, that was number four. Um, number five is make a clay model of the concept. So, describe, describe by the definition. So, um, when I did the, for example, um, I made a model of cl with the clay of a ball and an arrow and a um, pointing to the ball. And I had a couple different other shapes too. And it was because it was pointing, it gave me the idea of the concept the because it was it was showing a specific one. It was the definition was like um, the ball. It's like the what the thing that's being talked about. It's the specific definition that's being mentioned. So um, yeah, it's it's like a singular quantitative. Um, and so yeah, I got that in the picture, and then b right below the picture, I modeled uh, in clay as well the word, um, t you know, T H E, and then said the word the, uh, and pictured in my mind's eye or my imagination what I was looking at after I had made it, um, and then said it, and then wrote it down after I did that. So I was using all my different senses: my sense of sight, my sense of hearing, because I was hearing myself, and then my sense of touch and I was writing it too so it, it's really effective for remembering words um, so you only have to master it once and then you have it so that's really nice um, so yeah um, after number five I'm getting got off on a tangent but <laughs> number six uh, make the word in clay which I said um, sure to spell the correct make lowercase letters uh, unless the word is normally be being in begins with the capital letter number seven Say out loud to the to the model of the concept. You are the word, meaning the definition. Like I said, um, you you were tell, um, telling me research, blah blah blah. Um, number eight. Say the word aloud. Model. Uh, okay. I skipped to where I mental picture. Okay. So I think I covered it all. Just reading it real quick. Sorry guys, should have read a little faster, but yeah. So, yep. So I, I did that. So yeah, that's pretty much all there is to it. So just uh, once all these words are mastered, there's I haven't counted them. There's two full pages and then half a page. So two and a half pages worth of words. And once all those words are mastered. <coughs> I won't disorient anymore, and I won't have dyslexia. So it's pretty cool. I'm excited. Um, I've been working on it since um, June of last year. So um, there's no particular order you have to do the words in. You can do them in any order you want. Um, I try to do one or two definitions every sitting, um, and usually spend about half, somewhere between half an hour to an hour, I don't know, just depending. Um, tr try to be fast, I have a tendency to want to get into the creative aspect of it, because that's just me, but um, uh, I've heard a lot of other people, dyslexics are that way too, so. Um, anyway, so yeah, that's it. Um, yeah, hope that guys, that helps you guys out. See ya.